Hello, welcome back. Last time I did some skill ring juggling and pressed forward toward the end of the... the... What's this place I'm in called? Just the, the descent that I'm on now. And got a super cool sort. Eclipse, Cursed by Dark Magic. So it's taken away all my MP. I have none. Uh, and... Okay, I have no axes either. So, um, I have some health because I had to, oh, had to get some to... I had to re restore some to fall down here. Oh, interesting. When I cast Disillusion, it doesn't... The passages it reveals... No, no, those are disconnected. The passages it reveals do show up on the map. No, this wasn't even a Disillusion. Does it? Anyway, uh, so, uh, whoa, um, what's going on? Hi, uh, it's me. I'm playing this game, and I don't know what I'm doing. So now, look look at my, my dot there. Yeah, no, disillusioned passages don't get mapped. Okay. Uh, I have one arrow. I have four repair tools. Haven't used that yet. That's fine. I haven't needed it. I've been being efficient with my durability. Um... An insight I had, haha, <laughs> insight, uh, 42 of it right now, is that I should be killing these with um, level ups, because they explode kind of like mushrooms on death. So I should use the level up to survive the, the killing blow on those. Now, now that I have the sword, many things come within reach of one hitting them. I wanted... didn't I have a specific target with this? Right, but I was killing Mimics right now because I have some health to spend. I can one-shot you like this. Sounds great, let's do it. I'm not wearing any ring for some reason. Okay. I should put on the Skull Shield because I'm going to take some Mimic hits. Uh. Okay, yeah, so Eclipse lets me do this. And that's what I want, I think. You, I probably want to use a bow on. Now, I can awaken you and just kill you without even having any... Uh... Yeah, Eclipse gets me there on its own. Thanks, Eclipse. Hold up, I... Oh, I made a mistake. I put on the skill ring. I'm supposed to be killing Mimics while I have health. Uh... Okay, so this one can be killed without taking any damage. What's my target? Uh, this music is so good. Um, a mimic I specifically want to kill... Okay, so how many keys do I have? Uh, one. Uh, I should... Buy a bunch of arrows and throwing axes, probably. That sounds good. That shop is... Okay, so here, you. I technically can land on you. That would deal me some damage. However, no. Can't I backstab you if I get around that way? Let's see what happens if I go the long way toward you. Okay, there is still a Mimic alive here, so let's do this while I'm, uh, while I'm at it. So I don't think there's any way to avoid this initial hit. I can't shoot at you while you are... Wait, I can? Wait, I... Wait, what? I can awaken a mimic with a bow in my hand by threatening to fire at it? And it doesn't use an arrow? Oh. I didn't know this. Is this a bug? This feels like it's not supposed to be. <laughs> okay, well, I don't need this health for killing mimics at all. I do maybe need it to... Okay, so so that doesn't even use an arrow. Weird. Um, all right, cool. I uh, I can use this to take some fall damage, then put on the skill ring because I think I take a little bit on the way to that mimic down there. So I I actually landed there at a great time. So I can take the fall damage, put on the ring, kill I guess every mimic since I can awaken them from a distance. I just learned. Ah, uh, okay. There's a lot going on here. Um, there's still the... What is it? The Reaper up there? 
I'll deal with him at some point. There are these boys who I could just kill now. I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Okay, so at the very least I should have this on. I want to be careful with my level ups. Can I take you? I can. Nice. Well, let's find out what's in this chest at the very least. It shouldn't uh, disrupt my route too much to kill you. That had 50 gold in it, but, but I don't trust that. <laughs> I keep leveling up at the wrong time and it causes me problems. So I don't want to... Oh, I'd have to use a key here. Hmm. I might want to do that. Oh boy, okay. Uh, I'm going to save in one of these empty slots. So this is a temporary save for exploring this situation. Shoot, I put on the skill ring. This is a quick... S where am I? I'm confused. Wait, what happened? I... what? How did I... Oh, I put it on for... Uh, shoot. Well, I messed up. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I did relatively little. Let's load this. Start over. Retry. Oh, you can you can shortcut me. Sure. All right. <laughs> Retrying. All right. I need to get myself out of the situation because apparently I keep on forgetting why it is that I don't have any ring on and accidentally putting on a ring. So if I would unlock that... Ah, uh, I'd have to kill you without the skill ring. That's the issue here. Wait, but I could just kill that mimic without even landing on its head. Ah, uh, but I wanted to backstab it. Okay, but I'm not getting at these regardless without... Okay, so I have the save. There are those two skeletons and that's all. Yeah, so if I want to access those, I have to either use... Like... A couple of Divine Ascents or something? Or a key that did damage me for three. I do critical you for that. Maybe this is all acceptable? I guess, okay, so here's what would make that better. Oh, oh this is so complicated. What would make that better is if I skill ringed you and leveled up on you. Or actually, not even that. If I leveled up somewhere else, like just spent this on something else entirely. Well, no. I, okay. Okay, what else could I spend this health on? Is there anything? If I don't need it for mimics, then no? If I, I guess fall damage. Oh dear, I'm giving myself choice paralysis here. Uh, this was 50 gold. Gold would be best spent on arrows and throwing axes, I think. Okay, really, I'm agonizing this much over 7 health. Is there anywhere I need to take fall damage? Yes, there is. There's a spot, but it's after I would have to kill some stuff. Mm. So it doesn't really work. Okay, you know what? I have a save. I can come back if I decide this is no good. This is what I'm doing right now. So I get 50 gold. And I probably might as well take these. Can I do that with something lesser? Not quite, but I will be able to in a couple of levels. Okay, I'll consider that. Like, there's there's no urgency on those whatsoever. Okay, so, I am now mimic hunting. There are no mimics up here. There's nothing left at all up here, right? My notes don't say that there is other than the Reaper. Except, well, sure, there's the stuff up, uh, up in the secret way that's, like, up here. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, okay. So this is the really overwhelming part of the game, huh? <laughs> Apparently, I'm having some trouble. Remind me what's through this door. Probably nothing anymore. Right, there was a lost soul, but I, I took it out. It's gone? Okay. And there's nothing left over there. Oh, it's doing the thing. It's fine, I fixed it. 12 minutes this time, so it's just a random interval. No consistency. There's a room in the backside up here that I didn't cast Disillusion in uh, under the well. And I think the one next to it, so I'm going to have to come back there at some point and do that just to make sure it's not anything. Alright, so I can just awaken you. And then just stab you, because I have enough attack power. I get your gold. Next one of you will level me up. Now, would a flameling? Probably. So let's attempt to kill a flameling right now. As long as they give at least six experience normally, I will level up from one in my current state. And I should survive, right? So you, take me toward flamelings. Uh, I could probably go down there now. Yeah, so from the front I can't get you, but I can totally get you from the back and certainly use something lesser. So this is the room where I take fall damage on the way out. Ah, so I want to route it such that I level up on the way out. Oh, but I need MP here. Oh no, that's even more complicated. Okay. Alright, so first of all, let's just make sure this works. I'm fairly certain it should. Same principle as mushroom, right? What can I use on you? Dagger's not enough. Long sword's almost enough. It's a great sword. It worked! He exploded and I didn't take damage. Great. Okay. So, uh... I'm gonna continue my mimic rampage. Where's the one guarding the key? It's up a lair. You I'm gonna have to just use a bow on, probably. I can stand here and get a critical. I wanna open the way to the shop. Now there's you. You are free. I mean, every mimic is free right now. If I'm coming from this direction, this will make that fall inconvenient, but I can go around and just teleport to the guy. Okay, um, do I have a leveling route? Before I do anything else, I want to open the way to the shop. I think I have the tools for that now. I can't actually get at you to backstab you, can I? So I'll have to do it from the front. Or with an arrow or something, or later enough that I can... Yeah, it'd be a long time before I could do enough damage for that. Maybe never. I think I can punch. I can punch. I might have the means to just keep the skill ring on for the rest of the game at this point, mostly. M maybe actually. So I can't take you from the front. Okay, so. Shop. Uh, you're kind of pricey. I don't have that much money. I got some. But only so much. Am I remembering correctly that Wait, no, I never came here in the final state of the game. Let's see, how would all of this work? It'd be weird. Okay, what I want is this, and this, and this. And maybe another of those. I'll make do with the amount that I bought right now. Let's hope I don't regret it. So a greatsword and a kite shield. I don't think I need those. Like, kite shield, I've... I've <laughs> it's taken one hit! And that's all! <laughs> yeah, because I'm just doing other things than spending health. Okay. Uh, so yeah, there are chests full of mystery here, I'm aware. 
Um, right, I'm trying to have safe passage to and from this shop. I think I have it now. Because I can backstab you safely, right? Can I do it with a greatsword? Nope. Really, the difference is that big. It sure is. Okay. That's fine. Now this would take me back to the skill ring route. What was up above here? Hold on, what was up above there? I can't get there directly right now, can I? Like, I explored it in another life, but not this time. I got a key off of this ledge at some point. Ten more damage and you could be free. Alright, well, I'll attempt to get that together. You're a higher level, right? Yeah. Okay. So a flameling gives how much experience? 14. So once I'm at 33, I'm going to kill a flameling. I should be able to get in range of that, right? How would I do that? With arrows and throwing axes. With these skeletons in here? I don't have MP. I have moon water. One, two more level ups and I can take you from the top. However, that'll make me fall, so I can't do it with the skill ring because I'd take fall damage from there. Okay, um... Yeah, so no matter what, I can never kill you with a skill ring in melee. I'll have to do it at range. That's fine. Therefore, I have zero interest in saving up for you with the... Oh boy, but, but I can't get to this spot. Unless I have a little bit of health to spend on this fall. Stand here, critical you with the bow. <laughs> sure. I mean, that would work. Okay, so so I should have done that first <laughs> when I had 8 health. <laughs> oh boy, what am I doing to myself here? Uh, uh, okay, what am I doing in general? I'll take you down right now. That sounds good. So that puts me within range of a flameling level up. Are there any I can reach physically? Where are they all? There aren't a lot at ground level, are there? I don't think there are any over here. Hmm. Okay. Can I take you down? Sure, from the back, if I drop there, spending some health. Skill ring routing is fascinating. Uh, Critically, you would kill you. I mean, I could do it. It would level me up. I could critical you, I could stand on you and do that, but then I would die from the fall. I mean, this is fine. This is fine at this point. So, I leveled up. I'm doing one more damage now. Yeah, I, it's, a, it's a slow build up. Is there a Makara I can reach down here? I'm kind of switching tasks a little bit here, but I do need to go on a Makara hunt. So you two... You two are gonna be... Okay, if I were to take this off, put on, like, say, that thing, and then drink one of these, and then put on, say, this thing, and then punch both of you, could I live? No. So I could take this one down, and then from the back, something... Hmm. If I had a little bit more health... So you hit me for 32, I'd have to have 65 to make that work. Maybe I can come back late enough for that to be viable. I know there's a lot of Makara somewhere, and I think it's down there. Okay, let's look at these trolls up here. 
I just bought some throwing axes. How many would it take to... Yeah, right, this is a very good throwing axe spot because I get four hits from one axe. Oh, what am I committing to if I go here? Some fall damage? I am committing to fall damage if I go there. Oh. Unless I divine a scent or something. So you have 161. Uh, okay, I understand why that lever is there. How do I deal with a situation like this? So you give 30 each. So that'd be 45 total, which would put me just over an experience threshold. I can't skill ring kill you without using age die card afterward, but that's probably what I should do. Do I want to wait until the until I'm ready for the Makara? No, I don't. No, no, no. All right, let's do some stuff. Okay, so uh, uh. so to get you to the level where you're a one hit kill it would take one more axe, I think. Not quite. So three axes to make that happen. I know I can land here to get to the back of you to backstab, but that's not what I'm doing. Okay, I mean... Uh, I guess it saves me a couple of hits on this sword in case that matters. This doesn't feel great, but it's acceptable. So I skill kill you. I vigor kill you, I think? Okay. So 15 experience, potential, not exactly wasted, but not fulfilled. I have some health for this fall. I could spend this health on killing that one Makara. Maybe that's the thing to do. Okay, so I want to land at... Wait a second, that flameling. How do things route if it's dead? If it's dead, can't I no longer walk to the skeletons? Oh, the situation. <laughs> yeah, I can't walk to the skeletons anymore if you're dead. So I'm going to come in here with some MP take out all the skeletons. I'm gonna say I'm happy with how that troll fight went. Uh, so I'm gonna skill ring all of you, of course. I can take you easily. I have plenty of weaponry for that. The greatsword will do it. Okay, so I made a quick save there, right? I think I did, yeah. Okay, so the autosave is when I walked in the room. Quick save was four seconds earlier. So, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60 experience in here. How much do experience requirements go up per level? Is it two more each? So I'd be coming here, drinking a moon... Are either of these mimics... Can I... Can I learn that from here? Too far away, too far away. I think neither of those are mimics. I think I never stepped into this room on my first run of this. I don't think I know what's in these chests. Maybe the, the final secret ring is. Or maybe, like, one of those characters I'll unlock comes with the, the ring that I don't have. Because, yeah, this, this is something that I never located. Wait, hang on, then what's this? My notes say I don't know of one ring, but there's another that I don't have yet. Okay, so the... So I do take, what is it, one damage from this? Three. And I can critical you from here. Yes, okay, great. So that's how I'd prefer that to happen. Okay, so that's... So 
So I'm going to be leveling up off of one of those skeletons. So basically, like, I'm going to come in there when- so I'm getting 60 experience. Okay, let's learn something. Can I super quick level up, um, without thinking too hard about it, and just see what the next level's experience requirement is? I'm doing this very inefficiently, don't worry about it. I can, and it's 53, so it is up by two each time. So, I want to... So, if I'm getting 60 experience in this room... Sixty. Yes, sixty. That's right. If I'm getting sixty experience in this room, I want this skeleton to level me up. I'll be at full health to take this fall off of here. I will? And then I'll just throw most of it away with a skill ring on you? Maybe. I don't know. This is... This is getting excessive, it feels like. Okay, what do I want to do? Just like, in general. I want to kill some Makara. That's what I desire. So, let's do that. I can kill one and open some exploration there. That sounds... Actually, can I? With an arrow, I can. That's fine, I'll use an arrow. If I'm doing that, what's the cheapest spell I might want to cast? Do I think I'll kill enough Makara without Eclipse on that I'll be able to cast... Barrier? That's plausible. Yeah, Barrier could do a lot for me. Okay. Right, it really doesn't make a difference which of these I do. They are the same. I'm comfortable spending all of this because I'm putting on the skill ring. So your barrier's gone. I need to shoot you. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna strength shoot you like this. And then skill kill you with this. Can I? I can. So that's MP seal, so I wouldn't get the benefit of your one MP you give me. That's fine. Oh, whoops, that's a mimic. <laughs> but I can do something about that. Okay, how did this work? Uh, Alright. So, sure, I saved here. Um, punch. Uh, power. Shoot. Then... Clips, skill, stab, threaten to shoot, go around back, and hit with... Is fist enough? Not quite, but almost. Dagger. Okay, neat. Okay, so making note of my experience. To do the skeleton thing, I'm not doing the skeleton thing. I decided it was uh, not really going to work out the way I was imagining. There's one Makara here. Ah, but there's disillusionment to do. Ancestry insight, that's the one. Multiple disillusions to do. Yeah, okay, the last ring is down here somewhere, I, I think I seem to recall. Examine, not mimic. Troll cores, neat. So that's like the first free troll core. Well, it's not really free. Those are always kind of hidden away in weird places. I never figured out how to use them originally when I played this. Um, I did kind of figure it out now from, from seeing somebody else's LP. There's a sneaky spot I can stand where I can uh, shoot you from the back here, I remember. Uh, so I may do that. I should see what's in there. I'm happy with everything that's happened so far. This is also a sneaky spot I can stand and shoot you from the back. This leads around to stuff. That's a ch I think the... Yeah, final ring is in here somewhere. I'm seeing potential to have five Makara kills without putting on Eclipse so that I can cast a barrier spell on myself. 
because there is a lot down here. Let's attempt that. I have nine arrows. I'm going to hope that's enough. So don't put on Eclipse right now. Is arrow my preferred barrier destruction means? I guess so. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing the skeleton thing. Don't think with that routing in mind. Just, just forget that it exists. So, two arrows for you. And a punch. Is sufficient for this. I leveled up. I got... I have one MP now. Oh, Dark Shield, MP Seal, Def plus 30. Oh, that's interesting to pair with the, uh, with Eclipse. Okay. So there is a shield that takes my MP away. It just wasn't the Skull Shield as I thought it was. Got it. Okay. So, but if I want to use MP, I have to not use those ultimate uh, pieces of equipment. That room's kind of shaped like an A. All right, I want to get to 5 MP and cast Barrier. And use it on maybe the Reaper? Maybe? Do I have the arrows for this? I might. So two shots here. And then a punch. I'm going to not trust what the weapon swap button would do in case it would put Eclipse on me. I currently don't want that. Now you, I can't do such a thing to. Is that a mimic? It's not. Okay, so swap does work correctly. Sunstone, right, I haven't used those at all. So what they do, by the way, is you put them down and it puts a map marker. I think I know the map well enough that I haven't found that necessary at all here. So you'll take a little bit more effort to take down. Three arrows, huh? Or I could leave you alone and kill... I'd be looking for three more. I think three more exist in a place where I can backstab all of them. Indeed they do. More than three. Hold on, I didn't go this way. Don't get a map here in the backside. The moon room. Moon ring. Okay, so what do you do? Absorb MP from the slain. Okay, that's the other MP restoring mechanic. Okay, see, this would be great to use as this character, but I'm in skill ring optimization mode here. Uh, so, like, I'm just not in a route where that makes sense to use, I guess. Oh, um, how much MP is it, though? I should find out. So I can reset the room, etc. So I currently have two. I'll get one because you're a Makara. Max MP increased, and then I just get one extra. Oh, that's... Okay, that's not particularly great. That will go in my collection, but not on my finger. If I were routing differently for something that's not... Uh, skill ring, then that could make sense, but but I'm on this route now. Okay, um, you're not in anyone's way. Well, most of them are not. The ones that are gonna do sneakier things too. Okay, so I'm saved. I do this twice, and I punch. My bow's about to break, but I have a repair tool, so it's fine. Getting a bunch of level ups. If there were a flameling I could punch, now would be a good time, but I think I determined there are very few of those. I think I've already used up all the ones that I can get to from the ground. So MP3. You and you, okay. So do this twice. Oy. This is a problem. I'm out of arrows. Guess I gotta go buy some more. Okay. Sure. Let's go buy some more. How far away is the shop? Where am I in, like, in the real world here? Like, where do I come out of? Is 
Sunken Castle. Right, and I come out right next to the shop, so this is convenient enough. Good thing I can hold my breath forever. Right, you. Uh, you let me make this fall conveniently. When I kill you, that ability will go away. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, you I can't reach. That's fine. Gonna buy two more things of arrows, maybe? Maybe more than that? I might find some. Gold has other uses. But, like, arrows are kind of the most useful thing. They're, I feel like, the most versatile thing for uh, dealing with stuff. I'm going to buy 20. I'm comfortable with that. Uh, Alright, so... Doing Makara things. Kind of really okay. I'm my curiosity is overtaking me. I want to know what's in these chests. It might be something very important, like the last ring. Let's just uh, just be very inefficient about this. Not care about anything. Let's see what's here. It's troll cores. This one is. Gold. Okay, it's nothing amazing. All right. So troll cores and gold. That's fine. I will have those things, but I don't need to prioritize them. Now, yeah, I just want to feel like I've reasonably well finished my Makara hunt down here. Then I'll be satisfied for the day. I think. I went so far out of my way to get this fancy staff. And now I'm just not... Oh, hang on. I'm about to have enough MP for a... Uh, for a barrier cast. Which I could use to more efficiently kill Makara here. And I guess that's just the thing to do. Sort of. Yeah, I guess that's just the thing to do. That's fine. Alright, so you will get me all the way there. Two arrows on you, and a punch. My XMP increased, that's great. Barrier. Barrier is just a was. So I'm gonna use an arrow on you, but then my weapon, this weapon, To take you to, okay, I can do this. I can put on that ring, which will take you down to 40, and I'll be one short of killing you. Hmm. Wait, but I used my MP, so it's okay to seal it now. Okay, never mind, we're fine. Okay. And then. Right, I had no shield, that was the. Well, it didn't matter because I was barriered. Okay, and I have. I want the skill ring now. This means I need to put on dagger, right? No, it doesn't. Okay, great. I'm level 26. Is that good? Maybe. Well, <laughs> there are bars here. I guess I can spirit cross. Let's do that experimentally. Just to learn what's here. Uh, uh, uh. Is it this? No, that's retribution. Never cast that. It's this way. Okay. And by the way, no illusions here. Ah, that's this doorway, I see. No illusions here. Wait, one illusion here, hello. Okay. So that's good to know. All right. Um, This is the cleanup phase of the game. I'm just I'm just just seeking to maximize my score as much as I can. Is there any Makara left here? There is not. 
If I did do that spirit cross, I do get a backstab on the one on the other side of that, which is neat, but I still gotta deal with their barriers. It'd be nice to do that with a barrier of my own, which I guess... If I could level up a little more, I could get the, to the point where I don't need Eclipse to two-shot them if I'm backstabbing something-something. Okay, um, well, still doing things. Optimizing aggressively and having fun with it. Even if I'm going real slow through the game, it's fine. My MP capacity is now 60, and I do have one right now, current. Okay, I took out the two trolls that were up here. I haven't visited that spot up there. Okay, don't know exactly what I'll be doing next time, but I sure will be doing it.